Welcome, sisters. Welcome, welcome. We are so excited for day two. I see your smile, Denise Kennedy. You had an awesome video. Hi, Cassandra. Hi, Spinelli. Hi, Debbie. Hi, Felicia. Y'all are amazing. Pop a note in the chat. What are you excited about for day two? We are going to start a little countdown video and we will be back in a few minutes. Let's face it. The world needs speakers. The world needs messengers. The world needs heart-centered entrepreneurs like you, ready to take the stage, ready to bring people together in virtual events, to inspire people, to heal, to wake people up, and to transform lives. Speaking and taking the stage has given me everything. I used to be a high school teacher from Iowa, and now I'm training thousands of heart-centered entrepreneurs and speakers to take the stage all over the world. Before Women Rocking Business, I was afraid to speak on stage and I didn't know how to monetize it. I didn't know where money was supposed to come from, so I just kind of shied away from the whole thing. But with what I've learned from Women Rocking Business, she's taught me how to be on stage, how to sell from the stage, how to have stage presence, all the points that I need to make sure that I hit to be able to monetize it. In the last year, I put on three events, one that made $200,000, another one that made $200,000, and another one that made $250,000 all in one year. And when I took the stage and started doing regular workshops in the community, my business took off. And then I was enrolling patients in my program, and it enabled me within a few months to actually leave my hospital job. And this has changed everything, because now I have time with my children that I didn't have before, time with my husband, time for self-care, time to be creative in my business. So it's been transformative. So as a result of learning these skills, I have paying clients who have signed up as a result of me speaking, and I've been paid to speak on corporate stages. And I was on the TEDx stage this year. The skills that I've learned at Women Rocking Business to really own my voice and step into speaking confidently have allowed me to start a podcast do regular Facebook Lives and Instagram Live videos to get out there and start hosting talks. I have felt so completely supported and welcomed every step of the way with Sage and the whole Women Rocking Business team. We're gonna spend seven days getting you all the tools that you need to create and fill and rock your virtual events. You'll also learn the 10 hottest stages that you can get on and how to land keynote speaking gigs so you can endlessly enroll your ideal clients. My gosh, the model works. I was able to fully rock the stage and create over $200,000 and have 20 women say yes to my program, which is more than I've ever had. Now that I have these skills, I can just see how I'm gonna continually grow and expand a sustainable income so that I can really have this freedom lifestyle that I have been dreaming about for so long. Virtual events are incredibly powerful and it's really helped me serve on a much higher level. We were able to bring over 6,000 women into the program over these last two years. You know, it's all due to Women Rocking Business. So after I found Women Rocking Business, I was really able to expand my Facebook group and then from there to implement strategies and tools, especially virtual events and challenges that I could get my audience really participating. And I did a master class called Magnetic Brand Strategy, which was five days. It was a virtual experience and that ended up bringing in, I believe it was 120,000 in sales. Um, and I believe it was something around 74,000 in cash. And so it was my biggest launch and um, I felt so, just so excited and just honored and celebrated by the women inside of Women Rocking Business. We didn't know when the pandemic hit if what we did in person that was so deeply transformational and life-changing could convert well to the online platform. And what we discovered is that it can be even more powerful for people to transform in the safety of their own homes and be able to integrate our work into their lives in a much more expanded and grounded way. 
And the tools we learned from Sage helped us just launch to a whole new level of success and impact and transformation than we ever thought was possible. And if my clients and I can have results like these, so can you. If your dream doesn't scare you half to death, if, if your dream doesn't feel like it's too much that you're ever gonna feel, then you don't have a dream, you've got a plan. Mwah. Let's rock this. <laughs> if your dream doesn't feel like it's so much that you can never fill it, then you don't have a dream, you have a plan. Welcome to day two. It is such an honor to be here with every single one of you. You all are blowing us away. You all are, my team and I cannot believe the outpouring of love, talent, enthusiasm, passion in your videos in the Facebook group. Pop a yes in the chat if you saw a video that inspired you, if you stretched and made a video, if you haven't made a video yet, no problem. You can still make one. My team put together a short intro video for you. We're going to play that. We'll be right back. Congratulations to every single one of you who keeps showing up for the Rock the Stage Challenge. I see so many of you sharing that you made your first video, you did your first live, you're stretching, you're proud of yourselves. So many of you are inspired by each other's videos. I want to invite you to take a deep breath and really land in that self-trust that happens when we follow through on what we say we're going to do. Just allow yourself to feel that for those of you that made videos. And for those of you that haven't made a video yet, there's still time, no problem. You can still have that opportunity. And I wanna acknowledge every single one of you for taking the time to be in this community. And especially for those of you that took the time to comment on each other's videos. Thank you for helping to weave together a community, a container of women and of humans who are making it safe to get visible, right? Raise your hand if you agree, like we need this. We need more containers where we can practice the, the, school, the, the tips and the tools and the skills so that we can go out in the world and do it for real after we've done it here. Raise your hand if you were maybe even a little bit more nervous to make the video in this community because you knew people were watching and you knew people were going to give you feedback. Some of you reported, I'd rather be making a video for the public <laughs> in this community. I know there's women that are going to be watching and seeing me that, you know, I respect and look up to. So um, if it was an extra stretch to make a video here, I want to especially acknowledge you for that. And Raise your hand if you're paying attention to not just the content that we're teaching, but the container that we're creating, right? Because it's not just about the content anymore. It's also about the context and the community and the container that we create. We're going to be talking about that a lot more today because today is all about speaking and putting a talk together that you can use to get clients. And one could argue that today is going to be potentially one of the two most valuable days of the training, because you're actually going to get a talk outline today that you could use to go enroll clients. I am so excited. I also want to invite you for a moment to in the upper right-hand corner, click on gallery mode and check out the other women who have decided to be here live on zoom on camera. And for those of you watching in the Facebook group and the sisterhood group and YouTube, we love you, but I'm going to invite you if you're here on camera to just sparkle finger into the screen. If you see somebody here who absolutely is magnificent. And I want to invite you to sparkle finger. If you're willing to know that you're not alone behind your computer anymore, I invite you to turn on your cameras and get connected to a powerful group of hundreds of women leaders who are not stuck in complacency. They're not stuck in feeling sorry for themselves. They are going for it. 
On the count of three, I invite you to unmute yourselves and give each other a big wahoo for being here, saying yes to day two of the Rock the Stage Challenge. One, two, three, unmute yourselves. Give us some noise. The best. Hello, Elena. Hello, Ami Amiana. Hello, Paris. Hello, Sharice. Hello, Marilyn. Hello, every single one of you. There is something about women showing up to support women. It's so, so, so powerful. I'm so excited for this five day training. Let's just review where we're going. Yesterday, we talked about getting clear on your message and how to stay current in the AI market. Today, we are talking about not just positioning your client, attracting talk, but actually outlining it. We're also supporting you tomorrow to land keynote speaking gigs. Friday, we're going to be talking about not just speaking to entertain, but speaking to enroll. Saturday, we're going to be helping you really outline and start to think about your hot offer. Sunday, we have an integration day. I'm going to be hanging out with my fiance up on the mountain. And then next week, Tuesday and Thursday, we're going to be back for more incredible bonus trainings. So mark your calendars. And that's why you heard us say in the video that we do have seven days here of content for you. If you haven't already joined us on zoom, feel free to do that. We're at womenrockingbusiness.com forward slash zoom. We love being able to see some of your comments firsthand, um, right here in the chat. And if you're on Facebook or YouTube, no worries, we will be absolutely keeping an eye on you over there as well. And I want to just remind you that we're living in a time where we actually are being called to support others to do their work as we as leaders are doing our own personal work. Raise your hand if you are doing your own personal work. You're having the opportunity to grow and transform personally as you're stepping into a bigger level of mentorship. And raise your hand if sometimes that feels a little crazy. I can really relate. As a kid, some of you know I was bullied. Pop a yes in the chat if you can relate to um, being the victim of bullying. I was painfully bullied. I was locked in lockers. I was held up at knife point. Um, I was painfully kind of excluded from a lot of groups of kids. Um, I was I was a bit of a know-it-all, but I didn't know it. I was a bit of a nerd, but I didn't realize it. And it ended up being incredibly painful for me. And I spent years not feeling a sense of belonging and not feeling like I have friends. And so in my adult life, I have the opportunity over and over and over again to come back from triggers and trauma that attempt to knock me off my game. Raise your hand if you know what I'm talking about, where you can just be going through life and something will happen. And all of a sudden, I'm not in my body. I'm not thinking straight. I'm, I'm not connected to my power, right? I get completely knocked off my power. And yet, the opportunity that we have when these triggers come is immense because every time those triggers present themselves to us, we have an opportunity to do it a different way. And we have an opportunity to do our own work so we can help others do their work. Raise your hand if you're with me. About 10 or 11 years ago, I think it was 11 years ago, I was invited to my first women's speaker event. It was called Women, Purpose, and Power. And there was a lineup of women speakers who absolutely changed my life. I got to hear Janet Atwood and Dr. Sue Mortar and Marianne Williamson and Marcy Shimoff speak for the first time, all on the same stage 11 years ago. It was like the clouds had parted and my life changed in a matter of minutes. I was more inspired than I had ever been in my entire life. It was like, finally, I had been waiting for women to stand up and speak truth. And finally, it was all happening in one day. And you want to know what happened next? In my most blissful moment of my entire young adult life, I blew out. Somehow, some voice came in and hijacked my bliss and said, but you can't do it like they do it. You're not good enough. You don't know what you're talking about. You don't really even belong in this room. You're a school teacher and you were bullied and you're not good enough. 
in that moment, I went from ecstatic and excited to the worst migraine in my entire life. I couldn't think straight. I was almost throwing up. I drug myself back to the hotel room. And for the love of the goddess, I couldn't afford my own hotel room. So there were five of us in one hotel room, five. And several women I didn't know very well. And thank the goddess that one of them was a body worker. And she saw me drag myself out of the conference. And she followed me back to the room. And there I was laying on my bed. And she said, what's wrong? I said, I have the worst migraine of my life. She said, can I put my hands on your head? And she started working on my head. And a few minutes into working with me, she said, I have a question for you. Is it possible that you just saw a glimpse of your future and it's freaking you out? And I started sobbing and then I started con convulsing and I had the biggest longest sobbing grief release of my life because of the space she was holding for me. And then I drank like two gallons of water and electrolytes and some dark chocolate. And I felt great. I felt amazing. 40 minutes after I was about to go to the emergency room. So my question for you is, have there been times in your life where you were shutting down or wanted to shut down when you actually saw that truth was revealing itself to you? Have there been times in your life where your power and your greatness gets so big, it's almost hard to see it. It's almost hard to be with it because it's a different way of being than what you've ever been. When I went back into that conference, I started networking and I walked right up to Marcy Shimoff, Dr. Sue, Marianne Williamson, and I asked them all if I could interview them. To my surprise, they said yes. And that was my first Women on Purpose Summit. It put me on the map. I had 5,000 women register for that summit. And now those women are in my phone. They're texting me to see how this launch is going. They said, be sure to say hi and send our love to the 24,000 women that are showing up for your speaker challenge. So I want to say to you, what if everything that you want is possible and not just possible, but probable, and it's just a matter of timing. What if every step you've taken in your life has been leading you to this moment? And what if there's no accident that you're here and doing your work? Because the very work that you're doing with yourself right now is the work that you're going to be walking your clients through. One of the things that I'm so excited about for today is for you, every single one of you to understand that you don't just have something to say, but you have something to say that's going to attract high paying clients. Pop a yes in the chat if you'd be willing to keep suspending your disbelief, stepping into your zone of discomfort and supporting each other to do the same. I see the yeses flying through. I get tears in my eyes when I feel all of you and the yes that you have and watching your videos. I mean, I was up late last night and up early this morning and my fiance is so cute. He sees me with my headphones on. He says, just take the headphones out of your ear because I want to see what those, I want to hear what those women are saying too. <laughs> Cause I'd be laughing and saying things like, oh, she's so good. This is so good. And, and he says, take those headphones out of your ear. I want to hear what they're saying too. Look at them. They're amazing. So like, this is how things go down in our house. I also want to remind you that you can get access to yesterday's training. If you weren't here for it, just head over into the Facebook group. We'll pop up the slide and I want to invite you to click on the guides section so you can get the videos each day. If you're not here live, grab your workbook and all the things that we're doing for the CTAs and the contests that we launched to win $22,000 worth of prizes. All the details are in there. And I want to remind you that as we talk about speaking, the energy of speaking, I want to invite you to remember that it is going to kick up a feeling of nervousness and excitement for many of you, right? Because think about it physiologically, all that attention is on you. 
right? Think about when you're making a video and you're making a video for a group of six or seven or 8,000 people, you know, there's a lot of energy that's going to be on your video. So if you felt nervous to make the video, then that's normal, right? Physiologically, this is a big deal. And we want to teach you to keep staying grounded and keep walking through the feeling of nervousness because it's not about getting rid of the butterflies. It's about getting those butterflies to fly in formation. And I want to remind you that speaking is the highest paid skill, right? Think about it. The highest paid and most influential people on the planet are speakers. And as you get more confident on camera, you're positioning yourself to get paid really well. I also want to remind you that we're being held right now as we teach each day, we're being held by a container of elemental wisdom. So we're talking about the four superpowers. Many of you have taken the quiz. If you haven't already, you can take it at womenrockingbusiness.com forward slash quiz. But I recommend you not do that now because I want to talk about this container that's holding us to help you create magnetic messaging, get confident being visible, create authentic engagement, and create sales that aren't just about selling, but they're about opening relationships and and being driven by your soul. So let's break this down. Here on campus, we teach business principles through the lens of the universal elements. Pop a yes in the chat if you find your spirituality in nature. The universe is made up of earth, air, water, fire, and especially in a culture of so much technology, I believe we need to return to the elements for balance. And I found that when we teach business through the lens of the elements, we're more likely to embrace these business principles and lower our resistance. You know, I can teach you strategy all day. We're going to teach you a ton of strategies today, but if you have resistance in you, the strategies aren't going to work very well. And as a young woman and as a wilderness guide, I spent a lot of time studying with Native American elders and doing vision quests. And I discovered a system that's changed my life and the lives of thousands of my clients. Because in the East, we have to be in touch with our vision. And for those of you taking notes, write this down. Your vision has to be bigger than your to-do list. And in the direction of the South, we have the energy of fire. And there's no substitute for calling upon our inner fire, right? And using that fire to take action. As a speaker, we want to be able to move people into action. And this is a part of what we teach in our programs. And in the West is the element of water. We need that energy of flow and resources flowing into our business. That's what makes it sustainable. If you're taking notes, write this down, making money I believe is actually your spiritual birthright. Making money is your spiritual birthright. And in the direction of the North in the element of structure, this is where we get to rest. You know, James clear in the book, atomic habits. He says, we don't rise to the level of our goals. We fall to the level of our systems. If you want to be out there, you want to be free. You want to be able to travel the world. You want to be able to have financial freedom. Being a free spirit takes discipline. We have to have those structures that we can rest into. And then you can see here that we need a rite of passage to truly move around the wheel. I've been involved in vision questing and indigenous cultures for decades. People turn toward vision quests to get answers. But what a lot of people don't know is that it's not just the quest. What a lot of people don't know is that in indigenous cultures, when people go do a vision quest, and they go out there and get a vision, they come back to the community and they are assigned a council of elders to help the young person implement and live into that vision. Here in the West, we don't have anything like this. We don't have a rite of passage. We're not assigned a council of elders. Papa, yes in the chat, if you would have loved to be assigned a council of elders as a kid, right? And so I want to invite you to consider that this week could be a rite of passage for you that our programs can be like a rite of passage for our women speakers. And Papa, yes in the chat, if you're willing to take advantage of this week as a rite of passage fully. I'm about to bring somebody to the screen and we'll pop up her slide in a moment. Let's just skip forward to it. This is a woman who knows what it is to go through her own rite of passage. This is a woman who's been on her own Shiro's journey. This is a woman who life has not always been easy for either, 
but she has risen over and over and over again. She's a graduate of our programs. And ever since I met this woman, I've been so inspired by her. We are so honored to be accompanied by one of our trainers who's got her own incredible business in her own right and who believes in speaking and events as a way to change the world, especially for women. Give Nicole Kirksey some love in the chat. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, Sage. I'm so excited to be here. It is always such an honor and such a privilege to be with you. I'm looking on Facebook at all the hundreds of women who are here, the hundreds of women who are here with us in Zoom. My heart is so full. Thank you so much for this opportunity. Thank you for creating this space for all of us. So listen, y'all, if we are going to change the world, and I really believe that everybody who is here is here because you have a message that you want to share that can change your world, that can change someone's world, that can change the world around us. So if we want to change the world. And if we want to make great money doing it, the truth is that speaking and virtual events is absolutely the way to go. And so as Sage mentioned, I'm a graduate of the Women Rocking Business Programs in fall of 2020, I was sitting right where you are, just where you are right now. And since then, I have used these tools that we are going to learn today to really help to expand my spiritually based women's empowerment business into its best year ever. Every year that I've been with Sage in 2023 was no different, best year ever. And I get the opportunity to work with women at Women Rocking Business. So people who are clients in our one-year program, they use virtual speaking on a regular basis. They share their messages and they grow their businesses and they do it one talk and one event at a time. And I really am so proud to serve as a coach and a trainer to come alongside all of those women. So speaking is the backbone of any uh, message-based business. We have to get out there. We have to share. So Sage, I'm so excited to talk today about how we can position ourselves as speakers and give a client attracting talk that really changes lives. So stoked to be here. I'm so excited to be here with you. And one of the qualities you talk a lot about is courage. I actually have a courage. I pulled the courage card this morning. Check out my lioness oh, nice. courage to row card and you embody courage for me, Nicole, um, will you say a little bit more about that? I would, um, you know, I want to first acknowledge the courageous uh, people that we have here. You jumped in, like Sage was saying, you did videos, you've posted introductions, et cetera. We know that you have been nervous, but you have been displaying it. And I really love a quote that we have by Winston Churchill. It says, courage is rightly esteemed the highest quality, because it is the quality that generates all others. Courage is the quality that generates all other qualities. So if you, uh, again, if you missed it before, you still have a chance to make a video. I even did a video, Sage. I, I was so love inspired. It. I was so inspired by sisters. I jumped on and did a video. Listen, I did my video late. If you do your videos, you can still do it too. So do it after the training today. We definitely want to see it. But here's what I'll say also about courage. Just like Sage was saying, she uh, was up during the night watching these videos. The team, your coaches who are in the, the chats and the comments, we too were up. Did you see this video? How about this one? And I, again, want to just reflect back to all of you um, that just being visible, sharing your message, sharing your passion was very courageous. And um, one of the ways to help you to feel confident and courageous and get visible um, as you talk about your talk is to really think about the people that you are talking to and what they want to get out of your talk and really start with the end in mind. Start with the end in mind. I love so, this. Yeah. Yeah. Is it okay if I just jump in and start talking about this since we're talk moving right into talking about the talk? Yes. And I want to remind y'all that we are going to be heading into the workbook. Grab your workbook. Stay two. We'll pop a link to the workbook one more time into the chat, but you can follow along and take notes. Nicole and I both have our workbooks here. Powerful, good students. All right. Back to you, That's Nicole. So awesome. So um, as we are talking, uh, designing our talks, being courageous, getting out there and sharing our messages, one of the ways to help us feel more confident as we talk 
and more uh, confident about getting visible as we start designing it is again to start with the end in mind. So we can ask ourselves some questions. We can think about what is it that we're offering? What are we selling, right? Start with the end in mind as we're building the talk. We can also think about what action steps we wanna take um, and what action steps we want people to take as a result of listening to our talks. We can also think about whether we would like to be able for people to give. Um, we can also think about what kind of value we wanna give and what, uh, how much more work we can offer people with us, right? So hearing our talk is one thing, but how can we go alongside also and work with people more to help them to get a bigger transformation? But before we even start our talk, we want to think about that result that we want to offer. Beautiful, beautiful. So let's go just go through this really specifically, right? Because what Nicole's pointing you toward is, I think for most of you, it's going to be page nine in your workbook. Thank you so much, Nicole. And we want to invite you to consider your big takeaway, your offer. Like Nicole said, start with the end in mind. If you have an offer to help people create a transformation around their health or their career or their midlife journey or their relationship status, start by thinking about that and ask, what's your intention? What do you want your participants to take away? And what do people need to know to feel confident investing? And just a note, as we go through the workbook, Jackie, you can find the workbook in the guide section of the Rock the Stage Facebook group. You can also find it at womenrockingbusiness.com forward slash workbook. Somebody can pop that link in the chat. Thank you, Coach Jenny. And as you fill in your workbook, you'll notice that the highlighted words are also the fillable fields in your workbook so that it's really easy to take notes. You don't have to write down everything we're saying. I want to just ask this question one more time. What do people need to know to feel confident to invest? This is such an important question. You want to say a little more, Nicole? Absolutely. So in terms of feeling confident to invest, um, there's definitely a difference between a talk that entertains people and keeps them engaged and one that gets them enrolled to do more transformational work with you. So um, when you are doing your talk, again, you want to think about what kind of feelings you want to engender for people to feel confident. Um, they are likely to need to feel safe to take the next step with you. And they really want to know that when they do invest and take the next step with you, they know the impact that this step is going to have on their lives, right? They need to be thinking and feeling like this is really a good thing and taking this step is really what I need and what I want. So here um, we do have um, some examples here, right on the slide, it says, you know, I can affect my love life if I take the next step, right? Maybe they wanna impact their health. Uh, perhaps they wanna grow their business, right? So these are some examples of some of the results that people can be and should be feeling like they can have when they are at your client attracting talk. And so one of your jobs as a speaker is to really help people to know that those areas that you're speaking about can actually be changed, right? That they have confidence that they can change. And your job as a speaker is to help them to really feel in their emotions, hearts, and not just think about it, but know for sure that they have the power to make this decisions. So as you're really considering that end in mind, that takeaway, Think about the begin from the beginning, what it is that you can say and share in your talk to instill that confidence in your participants, right? What stories, for example, can you tell at the beginning of your talk, just like Sage did, to really help people to know that change is possible? Thank you so much again for sharing that uh, story, Sage. So, so powerful and such a, a good example of what we're talking about right now. Thank you so much. I love leading with you. I love knowing that as you all learn to do this, you're going to be able to instill more confidence in your participants, right? You're going to be able to instill more, um, more of a feeling of power. This is something that I could do, right? You're going to help your people feel that change is possible. That's a big part of what 
we invite you to do with your speaking, because it's not just about the words you say, it's not just about the teaching points. It's also about the stories you tell and the way that you elicit that feeling of, oh, I think I could do this. I think I could change. That's what has somebody raise their hand and say, I want to invest in myself. I'm ready, right? We need to help make a way for them to feel ready, right? Why wouldn't we do that? And that has a lot to do with creating feelings. And as you're creating, I want to remember that, yes, it's about what you say, but it's also about how you make your audience feel. I love Dr. Maya Angelou, when she said, I've learned that people will forget what you said, forget what you did, but they'll never forget how you made them feel. And so as you consider putting your talk together, I want to invite you to open up your heart and open up your mind to ideas <clears throat> of stories that you can tell about times in your life that were scary that you walked through anyway. Uh, vulnerable moments that you'd be willing to reveal in your talk. Pop a yes in the chat if you're willing to be both a credible and human facilitator of your clients because they're not just looking to be entertained, right? We don't need more performers in the world. I mean, obviously we love to be entertained. We love performers, right? I was watch I, I binge watched a little bit of uh, lessons in chemistry show on Apple TV last weekend. It's all about this female chemist in the fifties. I needed to be entertained. It was like the perfect entertainment for me. There's a time and a place, but what we're talking about here at rock the stage is creating transformation, opening up a transformational space, which means that we have to be willing to show people our tender underbelly as well, right? The next piece I want us to, and I'm loving seeing the, the, the yeses in the chat. I'm loving seeing the, the, the agreement, right? Rewrite Alchemy says, yes, they want you to be relatable. Being human is much more endearing. It connects us to our hearts. It moves people. Exactly. See, I should pass the microphone over to you. Nice deep breath, everybody. The next thing that Nicole and I want to talk about is the title of your talk, because you can have all the intentions in the world to love people up. But if you don't have a magnetic title, you might not have anybody to speak to. When you choose a magnetic title, a title that passes the face test, a, a title that's short and simple, it's 12 year old language. We have a referral come to mind when you say the title. It has results, ideally, in the actual title. You can make it tangible with numbers, phrases, or words. Nicole, do you have some example titles for us? Oh, let's actually so, leave, let's leave, let's leave that up for a moment, Jill, for people that are move, uh, filling in the workbook. Thank so you. Awesome. We love you, Jill. I know some of you guys are over there filling in your workbook. We just want to make sure you get those prompts, pick a magnetic title, pass the face test, keep it short and simple, make it tangible with numbers, words, or phrases. Yeah. Let's talk about some examples. Loving these students who definitely want to get all the answers that was on page nine of your workbook for folks who are keeping track. All right, so um, Sage and I are inviting you to, as you are um, thinking about your own face test passing title, um, that you drop it in the chat or drop it in the comment in comments in Facebook uh, so that we can give you some feedback. But we do have some hot title examples here that we wanna share with you. So the first title is Three Steps to Reclaim Your Hormonal Health. So very hot. You know exactly who to refer somebody to with a title like that. The next one is three myths of natural weight loss. What a great example, right? For the top of 2024, where a lot of people have, you know, health issues, health concerns at the top of their list of things they want to accomplish this year. Another example, five pillars of a stress-free life. Like raise your hand if you would like some a level of a stress-free life. One more example that we have, attention parents, less tantrums, more joy. I love those outcomes so much. And you know exactly who to send because you know parents who might be dealing with tantrums and would like more joy instead. 
So definitely share some of your titles in the comments and we'd love to give you some feedback. Uh, would you like me to take a look in Facebook, Sage? Yeah, and share some ideas for your titles underneath this video. We've got coaches standing by um, helping to give feedback. I'm gonna give some feedback to some of the titles that you guys are brainstorming in the chat. Cassandra Weil, uh, Cassandra Wind says, the alchemy of parenting. You know, Cassandra, I love that as a tagline, but Cassandra, I would challenge you to be even more specific because I don't know what the alchemy of parenting means. Remember, you're going to have more people show up if they can trust that you're actually solving an expensive problem they have. And so Cassandra, I could imagine something like three keys to peaceful parenting. What do parents really want? right? What are they complaining to their friends about? They're probably not calling up their fellow friend who's a mom and going, I'm just on this alchemy journey, <laughs> right? They might be if they're very spiritual, but they also might be like, oh my God, I just want some peace around here. I just want some, you know, I just want to feel confident. I, I want to make sure my kids are going to be okay, right? Like think about those words, like something like three keys to peaceful parenting. You could talk about alchemy in a tagline because I think it's a great word, but it doesn't necessarily let people know like what you're going to teach. Um, Br <laughs> Brittany, you're cracking me up. I love you guys. Um, Trish says mastering life's ups and downs. Trish, that's beautiful. I kind of wonder who it's for. Um, I wouldn't know who to send Trish. So it could be something like attention, professional women, mastering life's ups and downs attention parents, right? Um, Michelle, I love this one. How to stop fighting with your teen. That's awesome, Michelle. And Michelle, interestingly enough, we've tested so many titles. I spend between 50 and $100,000 a lot of months on advertising because we're a $5 million company. So we can afford to spend that so that we can get all of you here. Um, what I found is that interestingly enough, as much as some of you are going to resist it, putting a number in your title is likely going to get more people attending. So Michelle, instead of saying, how to stop fighting with your teen. You could say something like the three keys to stop fighting with your teen. Can you feel how it tangibilizes it? Can you feel how it's like, oh, I want to know what those three keys are. If, if the word keys doesn't resonate with you, you could use the four pillars of, 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 of teeny. Uh, I, I actually would probably, in this case, I wouldn't use pillars, but some of you could use pillars in another spot, but maybe secrets or tips or some of you like the word hacks. And there's something that having a number does to tangibilize the outcome. Like people know they're going to get value. I'm loving these ideas for titles. Nicole, you see any other good ones? We just have another minute or two before we've got to move on. Um, yeah, I just in the chat here, Stephanie has three steps to love being alive from suicidal to celebrating life. Oh, wow. That's, um, my, that's beautiful. Yeah. So that's a good one. Um, and then it's Farsi. It says six laws to keep kids clean, sober, and off the streets. Wow. I have goosebumps. Y'all are amazing. Y'all are standing for such meaningful things. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There, there are so many in here, Sage, that are so good that really have uh, really picked up that pattern of having the outcomes. Uh, the three steps to reclaiming your personal power and self-love from Kelly. Um, my only thing, Kelly, I would just want to know who that's for. So is there a group of people who you are targeting that? But I think the idea is there. So I think a lot of people are really on track. This is really great. Let's all take a nice deep breath here. We want to keep moving. After opening up the conversation of how to title your talk, I want to say a little bit more now around what are you going to include in your talk and how are you going to open up a container of energy so that you can actually create what we're talking about, where your participants start to feel empowered and confident and safe to invest. Pop a yes in the chat if, you, um, if you're really interested in doing some deeper work during your talks. Pop a yes in the chat if you're interested in not just giving out some great information, but opening up some deeper conversations, opening up some self-reflection, I'm um, opening up maybe a space of a little bit more transformation. Pop a yes in the chat. I'm seeing a lot of you are here because of that. And that's why I want to move into a short 
video that my team created because we'll pop up the slide first. When you're putting a life-changing, lucrative talk together, it's so critical that you remember that context matters 10 times more than content. So rather than me explaining this to you and really fully giving you like my whole spiel, I do a half a day on casting containers at our um, annual um, you know, rock the speaker stage retreat for our, our year long program. But instead of me trying to fully explain this to you, I think in some ways it's again, easier for us to show you. So my team put another awesome video together. We'll play that just a few minutes long. We'll be right back. The secret to growing a speaking based business, both online and live is to dial in your client attracting talk. And the secret to dialing in your talk is to learn how to set the context for learning and not just the content. In fact, you might've heard me say this already, but I'm gonna say it again because it's so important. Context matters 10 times more than content. Some people are saying that content is like a dime a dozen these days. Like my mom says, if you want the answer to any question, you can just Google it up. But what do I mean when I say setting the context on a talk or a webinar? What I mean is that people are craving not just content, but they're craving experiences. They're craving connection. Rather than feeling anonymous behind the computer, the trick here to creating events and virtual events where people can truly connect with each other is to help them form real relationships. There's a trend in the speaking industry both online and offline and on the internet with digital marketing, people are craving experiences. They don't just wanna be filled up with a lot of information and content. In fact, there's a saying that when you have people engage and you build real relationships with them, that it creates connection that equals currency. Connection really is currency. And in those relationships with potential clients, you get to establish trust and people buy from people they trust. My client, Vanessa Callahan, is a great example of this. She's been individualizing her marketing and taking her teaching to the next level. Vanessa is a mentor to parents, but in her marketing and free trainings, she's committed to not just mentoring parents, but to helping them learn how to raise resilient kids and to get connected with other parents. She knows that with the modern day stresses of life, it's common for parents to struggle and to fall into disempowering patterns with their children. And when Vanessa creates communities of parents, not only is she able to support these parents, but the parents can support each other. And the result is phenomenal. When the world shut down, Vanessa was all set up for her next launch, but she actually landed in the hospital with an unexpected surgery that required her to put her business on pause and cancel everything for over a month, including five online events that she was counting on to fill her program. Despite this major health setback, Vanessa came back stronger than ever. She rescheduled all her online events so she could share the key strategies and use the engagement tools with hundreds of parents and families who really needed her support. She not only filled her program, but she created a six-figure revenue year, and more importantly, fulfilled her mission to empower parents and heal families around the world so that parents everywhere can raise resilient children at a time when the world needs strong young people, now more than ever. You can learn more about Vanessa at vanessacallahan.com. I'd left a really comfortable classroom environment where I'd been teaching for a decade, wanting to make bigger change. And so I thought if I could reach more people through speaking and share out the knowledge I had, I could have a bigger impact. When I saw that there was this really clear step-by-step -step roadmap that um, Sage Levine and her coaches had laid out for me, I got really excited about the possibility of actually having financial freedom and building a viable business from speaking. After just a few months, I was able to book eight signature talks to eight different audiences. And from those eight signature talks, I found my 10 first full-paying clients that decided to work with me for six months 
and I was able to generate $30,000 of revenue just in those few months right as I was finishing up the program. And it made me realize that this is something I can really do and that this could be my new life. So you can see when it comes to filling online events, considering the context for your marketing and not just the content gives you a huge advantage. It's an effective strategy for creating community. And while you're speaking, it's so important to remember to ask people to post, ask them to interact with you, and ask them to comment on each other's comments. This is a super effective strategy to really intentionally build community and get people connected. Thousands of our clients have used these context creating tools to grow their communities, to take the stage, to host online events and video trainings, to grow their online movements, and enroll their clients. Taking the stage has blown up my business. In the last year, I put on three events, one that made $200,000, another one that made $200,000, and another one that made $250,000 all in one year. I'm so excited about what I learned from Women Walking Business because now I love being on the stage. It's exciting, and now I know that I can make a bigger impact in the world. Once I got visible and I realized that I can speak and lead and get more visible, I made my first $2,000 in my business. And then I really quickly made my first $100,000 in a weekend. And I recently held a three-day event where I brought in $250,000 in revenue. Now that I'm rocking the stage, I'm rocking my life. And whether you're a beginner and you're just getting started taking the stage online and live, or maybe you're a little more seasoned and you want to take your speaking career to the next level. Once you create talks that provide great content, but also create amazing context to build community, your potential clients begin to trust you and hire you. And then you can use that same talk online and on masterclasses and on video and on stage for years to come to change lives make a big difference and grow your speaking business because your clients, they're waiting for you. They're not just waiting for someone like you, they are actually waiting for you. One of the things that I hear you exploring in the chat is what really is the content part and what is the context part? So we're gonna keep talking about that throughout the week. But what I wanna say now to really see if I can get each of you even one degree more clear is the content is the information you present, like what you're writing down in your workbook and the slides. And the context is all the other stuff. When I say context, what do you all think we mean? Pop it in the chat. What do you think we mean by context? What is all the other stuff that you're going to want to do during a talk that's not just the content? I see community. I see personal stories. I see explaining why it matters. I see pictures. I see Olina says the experience. I love that, Olina. I want to invite you all to write down the experience in big letters if you're taking notes, because a big part of the context that you're creating and that you're going to want to create is the experience. I see so many speakers do their first webinar and they ask people to comment in the chat, but they never read the chat. Raise your hand if you've ever been on a class where they ask you to comment, but then they never actually read what anybody puts in there. Does that make you want to keep commenting more or less? So pay attention to stuff like that. What your goal is, is creating a two and three way energy flow, an energy flow between you and your participants that you're listening to them and they're listening to you. And then to create a way where they're listening to each other, to invite them to engage with each other in the way that we've been doing in the contests. And one of the things that I believe we can do to add even more value to this training, in addition to opening up the conversation around your title and the context and the experience is to actually get you outlining your talk. Because when you start outlining your talk, you can start to look inside a potential talk outline and say, oh, well, if I'm gonna discuss the fears that people have, 
during part two of my talk, the fears of reinventing your life or the fears of aging or the fears of whatever you're teaching about, if I'm going to open up a teaching point about discussing the fears, maybe that would be a place where I could set some context. Are you picking up what I'm laying down? Maybe that would be a place where I could have some people put some, some of their fears in the chat and I could interact with them and I could bring somebody up and I could put somebody on video and we could have a dialogue in front of everybody else. And that's going to create context. So Nicole, will you talk a little bit about our, uh, our framework for outlining your talk? We've actually never taught this before in this way. I'm pretty excited. I am so excited. This is brand new. And everybody, you are the first group of Rock the Stage participants to learn this. It is so super hot. We are back in our workbooks. We are on page 10. And we are on tip number three, to rock your talk. And that tip is to design your talk using our five-step proven GPS system. So we don't want you to just educate and entertain your audience, but we want you to powerfully enroll your high ticket clients. So many of you said yes when Sage asked earlier if you wanted to work with people for a deeper transformation. So we are getting ready to talk more about how you can frame your talk to help you to do just that. And this is uh, so valuable. It's an intro to a larger framework that we teach in our one year uh, program on uh, how to develop a client attracting talk. So in your talk, you are going to want to, again, create that context, that community, that container. One of you said uh, when Sage asked for prompts, safety, safety uh, for people to experience that transformation so that they can take the steps and you can enroll clients. And so if you're doing a, a one hour talk, you don't want to just overload people, right? You don't want to give them more than say two or three really tangible pieces of information uh, to, um, to interact with. You want them to be able to get the most out of what you share and you want them to be able to understand it better and how it helps them, right? It's not just knowing what you're talking about, but how's it going to be able to help them? Remember, they're uh, being courageous and making that choice to work with you. So people need some ways to interact with that content that you're sharing. So some examples in your talk might include having time for Q&A uh, inv or inviting them to comment the way that uh, Sage was saying in the chat so that they can really get uh, what you're sharing down to their bones and know what their next step is. This is really exciting. Are y'all ready to get our signature talk outline? I plucked kind of the overview of our proven signature talk outline out of what we call our profitable speaker training program. It's an eight week program that we have. We put thousands of women through it every year and we use it to launch speakers. And it's incredible. Women actually take the stage all together the same week. They all attend each other's events. We promote everybody. It's just absolutely like something I'm the most proud of in my life that I've created this program. One of my favorite frameworks from the program is kind of the overview of the signature talk outline. Now we don't have time to get through the whole thing, but we want to get this to you so you can really start to say, oh my gosh, I could plug my passions, my ideas into this talk and I could use this outline over and over again. So drum roll, please. Sparkle fingers, please. Who's ready for the outline? The outline is laid out on the acronym GPS on. Let me just show you this real quick, Jill. When you go to your workbook, it's going to say it's time to turn on your GPS. Some of you know I was a wilderness guide. We work with the elements around here. And so we wanted to come up with a way of framing your talk that allows you to locate yourself as the mentor. Raise your hand if sometimes it's a little edgy being a mentor for you. It's a little edgy being a mentor. Sometimes it's a little bit edgy being a guide. It's a little bit edgy knowing how to lead people, right? So we'll pop back up that slide. That's why one of the very first things that we do, I see a lot of yeses in the chat. One of the very first things that we do in the signature talk outline is we help you establish yourself as the guide. So oops, so that you can share something that makes you credible, so you can share something that makes you human, so that you build that know, like, and trust factor. Then at some point during the beginning of the talk, it doesn't have to be right away. 
we invite you to make sure you've established the problem. What's the expensive problem that you're solving with your talk? So Jill's going to keep clicking through that slide. What is that expensive problem that you're solving with your talk? And then you're also going to shine the light on the solution and give them a glimpse of the vision that awaits. We'll just keep clicking through because I also invite you then to make sure before you wrap up your talk that you lay out some kind of a plan, some kind of an option that your clients, that your participants can see as possible for them. This is what's going to have them go, oh my gosh, now that I've seen there's a vision that I want to move toward, there's a challenge that's in the way, I can see how I need a plan. And one of the aspects of their plan might be to hire you because you've now shined the light on the gap between their problem and the solution. Can you feel it? And the last thing you're going to speak into is now what, <laughs> right? Now what? Now that they've come to this talk and they've had their problem and the solution illuminated, what are they going to do about it? What can you help them with? And for many of them, they're going to be so excited to hear whatever offer you have because they're going to be relieved to know that there really is a next step. So I'll leave this up for just another moment so that you can fill in your workbook. Papa, yes in the chat if you could see this being valuable for you to lay out some of the ideas you have on a talk outline like this so that you can go and find your clients. Right? Let's not stay in hiding anymore. I am seeing the yeses flowing through the chat. So let me outline how this can sound when you start putting it all together. We're just going to model this on the next slide. In order to establish yourself as a guide, and for those of you that are writing, I invite you to potentially just put down your pen and just let this wash over you for a moment. Here's how the GPS on framework sounds when I just kind of walk through it. Nice deep breath, everyone. You might start out a talk by asking a question like, how many of you are here? Because it can be downright confusing to try to find your clients online, right? You can invite people to pop a yes into the chat and answer the question that you're asking. Establish yourself as the guide by asking questions that everybody can say yes to. And then you can go into the problem. You know, when you have a gift and you're not giving it and you're not getting paid to give your gift, this is painful, right? You could create an exercise around this. You could tell a story around this. You could take some shares and then take some time to outline the solution. Let's talk about what's possible when you actually know how to find your clients. You know how to fill your events. You know how to actually put together a speaking funnel. You get to have clients. You get to have contribution. You get to create freedom. You get to create income. Can you see how I'm building up the vision of that solution? And then in the options area of the talk, I would take some time to really lay out a plan to take this talk outline that you've gotten today, right? And show you how you can use it and take it to the next level, right? And for those of you that were right, I could offer right now a profitable speaker breakthrough session. Some of you might want to take me up on it today, even though today is really just about us showing you what's possible and continuing to, to pour into you. But pop a yes in the chat if you attended a talk like this. And by the end of the talk, pop a yes in the chat if you'd probably be ready to take me up on a profitable speaker breakthrough session. Like you could see how a talk like this with this kind of a framework up underneath it is designed to highlight the gap between where you are and where you might want to be and show you a way that we can support. Is there anything you would add, Nicole? Looking at this, I work with this almost every day and just seeing it in this format is so 
Powerful Sage. I'm looking at some of the comments in the chat. People were like, oh, I better reconfigure. Uh, one person said they had a talk on Saturday. You might want to reconfigure the whole thing now, now that we have this framework. It's so super hot and so useful. Very, very helpful. Crystal clear. It makes everything so much easier, right? To really focus on where we're going. Love it. I'm pretty excited too. And one of the things I want to show you is how to get AI to help you come up with parts of your talk as well. Who here would be excited to learn a couple of our favorite AI hacks? So this is gonna be really fun. Um, some of you guys might not know, but I've been prompt engineering since last June when I first put my fingers on ChatGPT. My friend Eben Pagan called me and said, Sage, Levine, are you in front of your computer? I was like, yes, I am. He says, I want you to go to this website and start talking to it. And I said, what? And I started talking to ChatGPT and I thought, this is an answered prayer because I've been wanting for my clients to have a way to create content faster. And so I started creating prompts that would get my clients the best output for their stories, their ads, their marketing, their offers, their high ticket program, their headlines, all the things, their emails, all the things. And so I've been prompt engineering. Who knew that school teacher from Iowa could come up with some really good prompts? So Nicole, do you want to read them this prompt I came up with? And then we're going to go ahead and paste this prompt into the chat so you guys can copy, copy and paste it as well. Absolutely. So the prompt um, is so super hot because again, you're asking chat GPT for exactly what you want. Um, and the engineering that Sage is talking about can be a stretch or kind of tricky for entrepreneurs to ask exactly what we want. So thank you, Sage, uh, for giving us this prompt. Uh, some of the coaches will drop this in the chat and I will too, but I'm going to read it right here for you now. Uh, it says, I'm leading a talk for midlife women on how to get clear on their next life purpose and design an amazing next chapter of life. And I want to shine the light on how scary it is to reinvent in the face of past failures and insecurities. I want to share some research on why this topic is so important. Can you outline a talk for me that's about 30 to 45 minutes long that will include some teaching, some exercises, and some prompts that I can ask my participants. So one of the things, a few things I wanna point out, and you could see those in the parentheses that in terms of the prompt, you get to add for your own talk, you get to fill in these parts. So who is your who? We have midlife women here, but you might have another population, pop your population in there. The solution here is about life purpose but maybe the solution that you're offering is different. So you would pop your solution in that part of the prompt. That problem, that pain point, that uh, million dollar problem or hundred thousand dollar problem that you wanna help people solve is the one that you wanna pop, pop into that part of your prompt. And then one thing I'll say really quickly uh, as a professor myself is that when you ask chat GT, GPT or any AI for research, you wanna make sure that you go back and check that research that it gives you so that when you quote it, you're quoting real research, but you do, but it can pull research for you. And that's very, very helpful. Telling it how long you need it because some talks are longer and shorter and telling it what you need inside helps it to give you that structure. So exciting. I love this. And I wanna also emphasize and give you a big giant disclaimer. Whenever you use AI, it's never gonna be enough. Ever. Don't rely on AI alone. Always, if you're writing notes, always put your authenticity back into the talk. I want to actually go to gallery mode for a moment so I can see you guys. Raise your hand if you're willing to not rely on technology and AI alone. Raise your hand if you're willing to keep putting yourself back in your talks, your own stories, your own heart, your own passions. Let them see you feel. Let them see you get excited. Let them see you speak to the pain, the hurt, the isolation. AI cannot do this alone, okay? You guys are picking up what I'm laying down? 
You also have to fact check every AI platform you will ever use. You have to fact check it. Promise me, raise your hand if you promise to fact check, right? Do not trust the research, the stats, the citation, the magazine that ChatGPT says is saying this thing. Do your homework. Do not rely on that alone. But raise your hand if you can see that this is going to be a very big time saver. What I love about AI is the outlines, the time savers, and the way that it comes up with transitions and certain teaching points that I might not have thought of myself, right? And then it can take your talk outline and it can help you create all the other things. It's like a thought partner. Uh, Luna says, I, I use it to lubricate my thinking. I love that. Lubrication. AI. Okay. I'm not going to get too sexual on you today. So here's what I want to also say. I want to also just show you what happens in ChatGPT when you use this prompt. I tested this this morning and I put in the prompt. I am leading a talk for who my audience is, midlife women, on solution, how to get clear on their next life purpose. And I want to shine the light on their problem, how scary it is to reinvent, reinvent in the face of past failures. I want to share some research. Can you outline me a talk? So check this out. It's really good. It outlined me a talk. It gave me an introduction with a warm welcome. It gave me several parts where I, I got to present some key findings, real life examples, interact, interactive questions to ask. So this is great. If I were going to keep going with this, I probably would ask it to also give me some more inspirational quotes and to get a little bit more detailed for me. But there's one other thing I want to introduce you to in the time that we have together today. And that is something that I've been working on for months. I spent most of my, in, in America, we celebrate Thanksgiving and I spent most of my Thanksgiving holiday programming the first women rocking business branded AI platform. I knew Serena was going to be excited about this. I know Johanna was going to be excited about this. So for the first time ever, our clients actually have all my prompts programmed in a specific platform to give them specifically and exactly what they want. We'll pop up the slides so you guys can see, but worldchanger.ai is my next venture and women rocking businesses next venture. We're very proud of her. She's like any strong, she's like any other strong woman where she doesn't always, always, always comply, but she usually does. And, um, she's pretty incredible. So world changer can help our clients completely optimize their talk, their story, their offer, their message, their ads, their marketing, their email campaigns. And let me just give you a little tour of her real quick. So you can see how she works. Um, I think this might give some of you some ahas. So when you go into world changer, you can see that world changer can help you with everything from your core message to who your ideal client is, their pain points, their objections, where to find them, how to outline a high ticket marketable program, how to present your offer, how to outline your signature talk how to outline a story so that it really flows and doesn't overwhelm people, how to create high converting ads, email campaigns, and it creates all of these things for you. One of the cool things about the signature talk section is that it also helps you outline your teaching points and it does it line by line rather than you having to have any fancy prompts to copy and paste. It'll ask you questions one at a time. So it'll ask you, who's your ideal client? And I programmed this in right before we went live today, a midlife woman looking to reinvent. And then it asked me, what's the solution your ideal client is seeking to get clear on their next life purpose? And then it asked me, what are the challenges and pain points? And I said, fear of failing and having to start over. And you can see if you look through this carefully, and obviously we don't have a ton of time here, but you can see that world changer is able to get, just go into more detail with what you're actually going to teach because I've programmed it to do that, right? Start by acknowledging and addressing the fear, discuss common fears, highlight statistics and quotes, and then you can ask it to give you those statistic and statistics and quotes, uh, teaching point. Number two here is designing your next amazing chapter. And it just gets more 
it just get, it gets more uh, specific with little exercises you could do around helping people set smart goals, specific frameworks you can teach, specific quotes you could share. So I'm really proud of her. I'll just show you how, how she works real quick. She'll, we'll see if she, see if she, uh, see if she, um, does a good job here. She's feeling feisty right now or, or she wants to <laughs> collaborate. So, um, <laughs> a lot of our clients are saying it's kind of like, it's kind of like having, um, having me do your sitting in the chair next to you. Um, so I know a lot of you are parenting coaches, so let me see if I can support you a little bit. So tell me one more time, who is your ideal client? Um, let's just actually use the example. So a working mom, and then it's going to ask me, What's the solution your client's seeking to have a successful career while also raising confident, healthy kids? And then it's going to ask me, and what my clients are loving is that it really is line by line. So they don't have to think, and my internet's a little slow because I'm on with you guys. It usually goes pretty quickly. And what are the challenges and pain points your clients struggling with? Um, kids who are acting out, feeling burned out as a mom, unsure of what she wants to do with her career now that she's a mom. And you can see, you know, it's, it's cool because my clients are oftentimes testing her out two or three times to see which version of their, of, of their talk they like the best, but, um, I'm just really liking the output that it's, that it, that it's providing. And I wanted you guys to see what was possible, um, you know, with this new platform, we'll be talking more about her on Friday. Um, so it was cool to get to hire a programmer and actually program a platform with everything that I've been coaching my clients to do for 12 years. Can you imagine my delight? Like the thing that I've wanted to be able to go sit down with every single one of my clients and do for my clients is finally possible with AI. And so feeling super excited about that. Anything to add, Nicole? And then I want to also talk a little bit about the expensive problem that you're solving and the solution that you're providing and really help each of you get clear on those two polarities, right? So that we can make sure that these talk outlines that you're getting from ChatGPT and the sort of GPS on framework that you're going to be practicing tonight um, and this week that you really have those two polarities dialed in the expensive problem that you're solving for your clients and the solution that you're providing instead. Oh my goodness. It's just so wonderful. The speed and the ease uh, that uh, world changer AI is going to bring like part of the challenge with AI is that you have it, it, what we get out is only as good as we can put in in terms of prompts. So you got to kind of do a double thinking, right? You know what you want out and then you got to put the right thing in. But you have taken so much of that heavy lifting off of us and just give it to us step by step. And I have found that the output is so much better because it does already know us and already takes it step by step. So just working with our clients, I'm even getting better results. And it's only going to get better as we use it more. Sage, you're genius. We're Stay genius. Tuned. The crowd Thank is you. going wild. I receive, and we're so excited. I receive all your love and compliments. Thank you so much for the love you're putting in the chat. I never thought I'd be programming an AI platform. I'm a wilderness guide, but when we do something for people we love, raise your hand. If you would basically just like almost do anything when it comes to people you love, like that's what being an entrepreneur is about. And what I want to help you get clear on next is the expensive problem that you're solving. I created world changer to solve a problem. Um, but I want to help you get clear on the expensive problem you're solving and the solution you're offering people instead. And I promise we'll say more about world changer Friday and Saturday. So never fear. We'll, we'll tell you more about it, but what I want to invite you to do now, and we'll pop up the slide 
is to really consider and just pop a note in the chat. What is the gap between what your clients are experiencing with this expensive problem and the dream solution that you're offering? What is that? And just pop it in the chat so that I can see some of you. I already can see and feel your wheels turning. And I want to take a moment to have you think about what is the gap? Because that's part of the assignment that we're going to be giving you for tonight is to design a talk title based on this gap. And so Grace uh, Legere says that her clients have a gap where they don't feel confident in their messaging and they want to develop that confidence and clarity. That's awesome. Uh, Susan says they think they're stuck in confusion. Awesome, Susan. I'd love to know who they are. Uh, Ellie says that her clients are amazing healers, but they feel like they're the best kept secret because they're not finding their people. These are great. Okay. I just want to, I always want to stop long enough to make sure that what we're teaching is landing for you guys. Um, Robin says that some of her clients are timid to try on new thoughts and behaviors. And Robin, then the solution that you would provide is like a framework um, so they can feel confidence using these new thoughts and having, um, having affirmations, having, having ways to change, having a toolbox full of, of mindset shifts, right? Um, Sharon, this is good. Life gets in the way of people writing their books. Sharon supports people to write their books. So Sharon, some of the expensive problems that you solve are confusion about how to write a book in the first place. Life, feeling like life is so important that it steals away the time that you have to write, right? And the solution that you provide, Sharon, is that you create a system and hopefully help people set aside the time to help them write their books. Anything to add, Nicole? Yeah, I'm taking a look at some of these. Judy saying that she uh, her solution is confidence for them to move forward uh, in their career and in their relationships. So I would just be curious about who you're uh, who you're serving and what the pain point is that they feel. These are really really good. Um, this is really a good start. So uh, as people practice tonight, I'm sure it'll develop a lot more. Yeah, I feel super good about this. I feel like we're we're moving through the steps together. So nice deep breath, everyone. We want to invite you one more time to consider joining us for the VIP after party that we're going to be heading over to in about 15 minutes. And we also want to give out our day two CTA. So for those of you that are, I know some of you are here for the first time, pop a yes in the chat if that's you. Let me tell you a little bit about, about VIP. We'll put up the URL here. We have a rock your message VIP experience. It's at womenrockingbusiness.com forward slash VIP. And Within the VIP experience, you're going to get a chance to get even more AI tools, bonus hacks to get your message out, lifetime access to all these five days of recordings, and two of my proven kind of message clarity PDFs and templates to help help you find your clients. We'll go to the next slide. Y'all. You'll also get the three primary pieces of VIP, which is the three magnetic message after parties. We're going to do the second one today. You'll get recordings of all of those. You'll get lifetime access to the challenge recordings, and you'll get my 25 marketable mission statements download, my message clarity blueprint download. Um, you'll also have a VIP concierge coach contacting you reaching out to you by text and available to answer any questions you have about the five day challenge, help you create a plan. Um, we've just supported so many incredible women to build businesses into the six figures and the seven figures. And they all said yes to that next step of just getting a little bit more support. Susan Pierce Thompson, Mel Larson, Robin Nielsen, so many women who have said yes to just getting a little bit more support and then have gone on to create incredible results. So if you have not already signed up for VIP and you want to join us 
in about 12 minutes at the second after party, you still can sign up for VIP. It's at womenrockingbusiness.com forward slash VIP. Again, that's womenrockingbusiness.com forward slash VIP. And I also want to invite you, if you haven't already, to sign up for text reminders and get my free link to um, what I've created. It's a dream business guidebook and it uses just some really beautiful self-reflection to get clear on the values and the energy that you're infusing your business. And Nicole has a fun announcement because we have some winners of the CTA number one contest. I get the total blessing of announcing the flash prize winner of CTA number one. But before I do that, I want to remind everybody that if you participated, you are a winner. So can you do me a favor and just drop in the chat? I am a winner. If you did a video, type in the chat. I am a winner. I did a video. I'm typing in the chat. I'm a winner. The truth is that video is a speaking skill and it's a business skill that you are going to continue to practice and up level over and over again. And you'll get better every time that you do it and every time you practice. So again, be gentle and kind with yourself. Coach Deborah and uh, Sage were talking about that yesterday. Be gentle and kind and remind yourself that playing is winning. So say, stay in these CTAs. So our CTA, just to remind you, number one was to make a one minute imperfect video, imperfect, to share your magnetic messaging using live video, the live video function that we learned on our phone, uh, and to make sure that you included CTA in the caption so we could find you. And then after you did that, we encouraged you to uh, give comment to three of your fellow rock stars on their videos because they worked hard too. And engagement, this is some of that context that we were talking about and let them know what was awesome and the one thing that you thought might be helpful. So we were excited to see all of your videos. So we have a couple of runner ups and I'm excited for us to learn more about those. And let's take a look at video person number one, our first runner up. It's said Kofa on Natural. I'm Nefertiti Abdullah. I am the owner and founder of Nine Waters Holistic. I am a licensed clinical pharmacist, trained herbalist, certified track and field coach, and fully initiated priestess in several African tradition religions. I am in the business of holistic transformation. I use Western medicine, holistic medicine, and ancient spiritual practices to produce measurable results to improve the physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual realities. Of this is so great. We wanted to give you a shout out because we love your presence. Sankufa, I don't know if you're saying, I'm saying your name right, but we wanted to give you a shout out for how much presence and power you brought to your video. Pop a note in the chat. What did you see in her? Confidence, presence, poised, embodiment. And we want to give you a little feedback. Nicole, you want to give a quick feedback? Yeah, so again, incredible energy. Um, and, and we want to invite you to be even more clear about what you stand for. And remember that tip about 12 year old language. We want you to really simplify that language in your next video if you can. We love it that it was nice and short, um, but this is a great example of how we could be incredibly powerful, but not necessarily communicate our message as clearly as we intend. So we invite you to do that next time. We'll be excited to see your up level. So exciting. And, and we have a winner. Let's skip to the winner if we can. I want to I want to see the winner. I know we had that we had one little piece that we can do tomorrow, but um, we have a winner and she did such a creative and incredible job. Is that okay, Jill? Let's bring her up. I'll just also say you guys that we're going to send our winner, one of my favorite thermal women rocking business water bottles. This is such a nice water bottle. It's branded. It says okay. women rocking business on it. We're going to get this in the mail for you. And you better stay did. hydrated for all that talking you're going to do. Congratulations. Hi. Congratulations. I'm to Corey Ray, Ray, registered nurse and founder of Mission Confidence. I support moms of tween girls who struggle with talking about periods and puberty to break the cycle of negative body image 
so they can raise radiant, strong, and resilient teens. Here at Mission Confidence, we foster connection and curiosity by building by creating a body love community for moms and daughters alike. Because confident moms build confident daughters. We were gonna high five, but <laughs> <laughs> so cute. Adorable. Come on. So cute. Come on. So cute. Love but that. What I love about this video, Nicole, is it's so specific who she's talking to. Moms of tweens, right? This is who she's talking to. Even if she hadn't had her adorable daughter with her, we knew right away, are you a mom of a teenage daughter, right? And you yeah. want that teenage daughter to be confident. Well, here's who, this is who I work with. She's speaking right to her. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. We love that energy. Always so positive. That's also part of the magnetism, right? So it's not just what we say and how we say it. And always a cute little helper also helps as well. So we're excited for you to get your water bottle, Corey Ray, to keep you hydrated and all the talking that you're going to be doing. Congratulations to our winner and to our runners up. So good. So let's talk about CTA number two, shall we? We'll pop it up. Today, we're going to challenge you to pop up your client attracting talk title. You worked on it today. We're looking for results oriented, specific titles that pass the face test. And Nicole, we are especially excited about those of you who are willing to pop up your title and you can pop it up on a sticker so that it pops, it shows. And then we're especially excited for you to support and give at least three of your fellow sisters feedback. Wouldn't you agree? That's like the most important part, Nicole. Absolutely. Most important part. Again, remember your sisters are working hard as well. And the better, the more feedback we get, the better we'll get right. So the more refinement we'll do. So thank you. Thank you for being good citizens, making this a wonderful community for us to grow and grow our talks, grow our confidence and get our messages out there. So awesome. We want to know exactly who your talk is for in the title. So when you pop the title up in Facebook, we're going to invite you to make sure you pop it up on one of these color blocks. And the way that I did that is I went to pop a, I went to, I went to write something and it gave me the option of these different little color blocks I can use. And I could pop a title in here, like attention, midlife women, three keys to clarify your purpose for your next chapter, right? And you know exactly who it's for. It passes the face test because I'm actually including who it's for in the title. And now you know who to send into my talk. The other thing that I can do if I have enough characters is I could put hashtag CTA2. And that way it's easy for my team to find. And if you run out of characters, you could also put hashtag CTA2 in the comments underneath. Pop a yes in the chat if that's clear, you know what to do. We're going to be wrapping up today's training and heading over to the VIP line in just a few minutes. What an incredible day. Thank you so much for being on this journey with us. Thank you so much for playing in the CTAs. Raise your hand if you are excited because you're planning on being that big winner. You're going to win $22,000 worth of training. And I want to remind you that yesterday, your CTA was to make a one minute imperfect video sharing your message. Today, we're going to have you pop up the title of your talk. I want to remind you, you are not behind. Okay. We haven't given you CTA three, four, or five yet. You can still play. Okay. You are, you can still play. And you can still be the big winner, even if you this is your first moment with us today. You can still get started. You can play in those CTAs all the way through the end of the day on Friday. We're going to announce a winner on Saturday. We are going to say goodbye to our restreamers, our Facebook folks, our YouTube folks, and say a quick goodbye to you so that our VIPs have a minute to go over and grab your other VIP Zoom link. And if you just joined VIP and you don't have the link yet, check your email. It should come to you in your email. And if for some reason you can't find it, just email support at womenrockingbusiness.com. My team is standing by to make sure you get that Zoom link. We will not leave you high and dry. Thank you for the appreciation in the chat. Thank you for being a woman on a mission. 
Thank you for bringing gifts and wisdom to the world at a time when the world needs women's wisdom. We'll be opening up this line for more Q&A on Friday and Saturday. But until then, please take really good care of yourself and we'll see some of you over on the VIP line. You are amazing. Keep going, post your titles, keep making videos. Love you, Nicole. Love you so much, Sage. Appreciate you.